jasmine hello sweet almond hello vanilla hello hey lovelies welcome back to my channel today i'm back with a perfume haul it's actually going to be a blind buy perfume haul i'm quite scared and nervous all at the same time these are fragrances and perfumes that youtubers have made me buy now i know we've all done this bought something because a youtuber or an influencer has recommended it so i haven't even opened them they're still in the boxes and the youtuber that made me buy this one is britney also known as pocket and bows and sheree is it sheree lewis is the other youtuber that made me buy this one the youtuber that made me buy this one is called Edwige Alamode. I'm going to be linking their YouTubers and the specific videos where I got the recommendations and which made me buy the perfumes that I've bought today. If you're new, hello, my name is Lorraine and I focus on curvy fashion, luxury, lifestyle and travel. And if you like that too, I hope that you do, then please subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell so you never miss out any videos from me. If you watch my fragrance collection, you know that I like sweet, unique and feminine scents. So I'm constantly on on the lookout for new sweet long lasting scents when i was watching these youtube's videos they were saying that these three fragrances are sweet they're unique they're feminine and are also signature scents so my first blind buy is the baccarat rouge 540 by mason francis Kirk de Jean. so this is the box i hope that the white is not washing it out it's the edouard perfume and I got it in the 70 mil. So like I said before, the YouTuber that made me buy this perfume was Pocket and Bows. I love her, by the way. I had seen this perfume on so many fragrance collections. So many people were talking about it, but it's just the way that she explained it. She, the way that she described the notes, the way that she described like how it made you feel. Like she said, this was a fan favorite. She said, if she only had to wear perfume from one house, it definitely it would be mason francis Kirk de Jean. so i was like okay that's a commitment honey and she said that it's seasonal you can literally wear it from january to december and it was a signature scent which is something that i love but the most thing obviously that i loved about it is that it's sweet which we love darling we absolutely love this is how it comes oh my god it's so pretty it's got this little message booklet here oh my gosh you guys i absolutely love love the bottle isn't it just like the cutest i absolutely love it she did recommend to get the perfume because it will last so much longer let's open and spray it and see if it lives up to the hype you guys mm, okay okay it is definitely quite strong i wouldn't say it's like overpowering you can tell that it's a long lasting scent because it's like, it smells like it's getting stronger. It is definitely, definitely sweet. It smells very like mature and grown. Someone like me who's in their 30s now, I turned 30 this year, baby, okay? I feel like it kind of embodies everything that I that I am and that I'm striving to be as I'm moving forward. Like someone who's got their ish together, like someone who just knows what they're doing, someone who just knows where they were going in life. Like I went to a restaurant one time and I walked in and the waitress was like, you just look like you've got your ish together. And that's what I want my perfume to absolutely give me. So the top notes for the Baccarat Rouge 540 are jasmine saffron and in the middle notes are amberwood and the base note is cedar if you've watched my fragrance collection you know that those are the notes that i tend to look out for when i'm buying perfumes because i really love that sweet and feminine scent and if you've also been thinking what is the hype with this perfume girl you need to get it. Trust and believe you need to get it. I got it from Selfridges. It was £215. It's not cheap, honey, but it's an investment. If you just want to exude like boss babe, sophisticated, like you know what you're doing, this is the perfume that you need in your collection. So moving on to my second blind buy perfume and it's Flower Bomb by Victor Ralph. Like I said, the YouTuber, I hope you can hear me with all this baffling. The YouTuber that made me buy this is Sheree Lewis. Her channel is predominantly perfumes. So she did not have to tell me twice, honey, 
okay this is the box that it comes in i really really love it i feel like it's actually kind of going with my outfit honey <laughs> not planned i love this kind of like flower in print that's on there oh it's quite a small bottle how many meals did i get okay it makes sense i bought a 30 mil and again i, I bought the le de parfum this is the bottle which is so so cute and so divine you guys i absolutely love it it's quite simple what sheree actually said about this perfume was that it was a frequent buy so she's bought it so many times and even when she was actually showing the bottle it was like up to here which shows that she used it quite a lot she also said that it was sweet and it was unique which is just tick 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 she said that it was also a long lasting scent which is something i'm really trying to steer towards Towards. don't get me wrong i love my dupes but sometimes you want a perfume that is going to last you the whole day and she said that it will last between eight to ten hours which is just amazing so let's smell it that smells really really sweet so this is actually sweeter than the back of rouge 540 this is more yeah this is definitely more feminine this is definitely more girly this will be a perfect perfect perfume to wear at, like girls night out kind of thing to with the girls like for lunch for brunch something quite girly something quite feminine there's something that's quite warm about it as well i don't know what notes i'm picking up there the notes for the flower bomb victor Rolf are tea bergamot jasmine orchid centifolia rose amber and patchouli i think the warm set that I was picking up there must be the patchouli or maybe even the amber but i don't know if you can see a theme here guys in terms of the notes this one also had jasmine and amber and then the baccarat rouge 540 had amberwood and jasmine as well in the notes so even though these were blind buys because they have similar notes i wasn't too worried that i wasn't gonna like them because i know what notes i like in perfume the last perfume blind buy is the hypnotic poison by Dior as I mentioned before the youtuber that made me buy this is called Edwige Alamode so this is the one that I was worried about the most because her because her scent is kind of like quite strong overpowering quite spicy which is completely separate from me the way she described this you guys like literally someone can make you buy something that you didn't think that you would like the way she described it just made it smell even though I couldn't smell it, but just made it smell so good. She did, however, mention that this was more sweeter than what she would have liked. So even though it was a negative on her part, for me, I was just like, okay, she's mentioned sweet. So actually, I might like it. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. To be fair, I think the one that she spoke about was Poison Girl. I'm not sure. Did she speak about Poison Girl? I don't know. I feel like I'm confusing myself. Anyhow, so the bottle kind of looks like an apple, doesn't it? And that's kind of giving me like Adam and Eve vibe. Like it's going to be quite alluring, quite addictive, quite tempting. Because if you think of like Adam and Eve, an apple was used to tempt him, right? So I'm already thinking that's where we're going with this. So let's spray it and see what it smells like okay okay so it's definitely definitely sweet but it's also quite spicy so i would say this is your spicy and sweet all at the same time so if i was to compare it to the flower bomb i think that's definitely the sweetest out of all the three that i've bought because that one is way more sweet and is way more feminine even though the hypnotic poison has an element of sweetness to it i think it's quite rich as well and i was right when i said that alluring tempting seductive like literally this is what it's giving me this is giving me rich auntie vibe this is giving me date night this is giving me sexy this is just giving me bossy as well this is a different kind of bossy compared to the baccarat rouge 540 i feel like that one is much more i'm grown i know what i'm talking about i've got my ish together and then this one is just more like grown and sexy do you know what i mean i hope that makes sense but i definitely love it so the notes in the hypnotic poison are bitter almond some back jasmine 
vanilla, jacarandra. The notes in these are just tick, 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 tick. Because jasmine, hello. Sweet almond, hello. Vanilla, hello. It's an absolute given that I was going to love this. So I'm super, super happy. Overall, I am 100% happy with my Blind Buy perfume haul, you guys. If I was to rate them in terms of which one is my favourite, definitely the Baccarat Rouge 540 is number one by far. Then I would say Flower Bomb by Victor Ralph. And then lastly, the Hypnotic Poison by Dior. My top tip for perfume blind buys is make sure that you look at the description and then also the notes of the perfume to see if that kind of fits in within your signature scent and also you like your favorite scent let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the perfumes that i've bought today do you own them do you guys have any perfumes that are on your wish list i'd really, really like to know if you have enjoyed this video do not forget to give me a thumbs up and if you come all this way thank you so much you're real one just don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press that notification bell so you never miss out a video from me make sure you're having a lovely day night evening wherever you are and i'm gonna see you back here in my next video bye guys